increase the magneton pulse to 3,000 terajoules. No, Terrell. We can't contain the orb's Verteron emissions. We have to... We are out of time, Zoto. The Federation's taking control of the station and our project is being cancelled. This is our last chance. Initiate the pulse. Now. Cascade. We're losing primary power. Switching to backup. Safety protocols are offline. Boost the containment beam. Too late. The Verderon Cascade is causing a subspace rupture. Scanners are offline. Switch to portables. The Verderon Cascade is focusing on a single point. Field strength increasing. Subspatial curvature is now 1.4 million ligots and rising. It's forming a wormhole. Is it stable? Specify. Captain's log, Stardate 51957.1. We've received a garbled distress call from the Bajoran science vessel KL-2, which was testing a new means of harnessing power from the Tachyon eddies in the Denorius belt. The Bajoran vessel has sustained heavy damage and its microfusion reactor is destabilizing. Shields up, yellow alert. Mr. Worf, does that look like an accident to you? Negative. Its hull was breached from the outside. It was attacked. Captain, I'm picking up faint life signs aboard the Bajoran ship, but they aren't answering our hails. O'Brien, start beaming the survivors to sickbay. We can't get a transporter lock, sir. Too much interference from the tachyon particles in the belt and the Eichner radiation leaking from their fusion core. Suggestions? If we can get transport enhancers onto the survivors, we can use them to cut through the interference. We could only beam one person at a time, but it's our best shot. Dex, how many life signs aboard the Kiel tool? I can't get a clear reading through all the tachyon interference. Chief, I'm going over there. Have Ensign Bailey meet me in the shuttle bay with a pack of transport enhancers. Anybody we can't beam out, I'll bring back the old-fashioned way. Aye, sir. Cisco to Bashir. Prepare to receive casualties. Acknowledged. Mr. Worf, you have the con. <laughs> 